on everyone welcome back to another swift tutorial in today's video we're going to be covering something that was actually suggested by one of you guys and that is how we can add graphs slash charts to our app in swift of course so as you can see here we have this really nice looking bar chart that is interactable um, now i'll be basically going through how to implement this and you can also customize it but in addition to this we're also going to look at how we can do this nifty line graph, this pie chart, uh, and basically these three. The framework we're going to be using supports additional types and a bunch of customization, but I think these three will paint a pretty good picture, hopefully. So with that being said, drop a like down below, get Xcode ready. If you're new, please do subscribe and let's get into it. So as per usual, we're going to start by creating a new Xcode project. We're going to stick with a single view application and we'll call this my graphs. Let's save this on our desktop. And once it's created, let's just pick our simulator of choice, hit command R to build and run. That way we'll get the simulator up and running. So when we actually start building this, we won't have to wait for it every time. Whoops. Let's bring this to the right of the screen. Okay. Awesome. So the first thing we actually want to do is bring in the framework that allows us to add charts and graphs. And we're going to bring it in using CocoaPods. So open up Terminal and CD into this project. If you're not familiar with what CocoaPods are, I've got a separate video on it, but feel free to follow along. The only prerequisite is make sure you have CocoaPods installed on your machine. So do a pod in it open pod file and that'll open up this file in text edit in here we want to bring in the framework which is called charts i believe capital c it's lowercase that p close text edit we can do a pod install and i'm going to get a bunch of stuff printed out here that you might not see this is because i have some uh, incorrect settings on my computer but either way it uh, should install successfully with this green success uh, message down here. Next, we're going to close the Xcode project we have running behind here. Uh, the reason is we're going to open up the XC workspace. And to open that up, we want to do open the name of this dot XC workspace. Cool. So let's uh, select our simulator again and hit command R. It's gonna build the entire workspace, which includes this charts framework. And while it's doing that, let's expand the actual project and come to our view controller. So to kind of talk through what we need to do uh, while this pulls up here, we need to basically add a tab bar controller to our storyboard, uh, create two more view controllers uh, and basically lay out our three tabbed app before we actually bring in the chart stuff. So let's go to our storyboard and let me expand this Xcode window to give ourselves a little more room to work. So let's delete this default controller that the template gives us. Let's find a tab bar controller in here, drag it on in, takes a second sometimes like that. Let's delete these two controllers that are attached to the tab bar uh, controller because we're going to bring in our own. Let's then find a navigation controller and bring this in. And let's delete this controller that's attached to it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and copy and paste it twice because we need three of these. Slightly faster than uh, bringing in controllers over and over. Now let's drag from the tab bar to the first navigation and select view controllers. We'll get this first tab here. Do that for the other two as well. And if you're not familiar with tab bar controllers, please do watch the video I have on this specifically. I'm just going to go through this a little fast so we can get into the chart stuff. Next, we want a view controller, which is going to be the root controller for each of these nav controllers. Create it and copy and paste it twice. And let's drag these to line up. Let's drag from each navigation controller and select root view controller for each of these, like so. And let's give this a title. The first one is going to be bar. 
Next one is going to be line. Third one is going to be pi. And let's also select the navigation bar up here and check this box over here to give us a, a large style title. Whoops, we want this preferred large title thing. Like so. And let's hit Command R to build and run. And I think we might actually crash or see an empty screen like this. And the reason is we need to set this tab bar controller as the initial controller. So select it and check this box is initial view controller. We also need to assign classes to each of these screens. So we have this default one that Xcode gives us called view controller. So we're going to use that one for the first screen here. So select it and come to this tab and type in the name of that class, which is view controller. Let's create two more files, which are view controllers for the other two screens. So right click new file, Cocoa touch class, second, and we want this to be UI view controller like so. And let's do that one more time for the third controller. So new file, Cocoa Touch class, and we'll call this third, like so. And we're going to delete all this commented out template code that Xcode gives us. Do that for this one as well. And before we actually run the app and see those screens, let's not forget to set the second and, whoops, second and third view controller uh, to our storyboard. So let's go back to the main storyboard and select this one and set it to be second view controller. And this one is third view controller. So uh, I know I just blew through that setup pretty fast, but take a look at the tab bar video if you're not familiar with this so we can start getting into the chart stuff. So now we have an app for our uh, three tabs, so bar, line, and pi. And let's get into implementing these actual charts. So let's do bar first, which is this class. Now to implement a chart slash graph, it's fairly simple. We need to bring in that library, which is called charts. And we are going to also set up the chart view delegate. We're going to use this in case the user interacts with a chart if we want to perform some action. We also need to create a chart. So we're going to say bar chart is a bar chart view, like so. We're going to set this guy's delegate in view did load to self. And we're going to actually set the frame and stuff in view did layout sub views. We're going to call super first. Now we need to do a couple of things. We need to set the frame. We need to add this chart to the view controller's view, and we need to also add data to the chart. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say the frame of this is a CG rect with an X, Y width and height. We'll just make these zero. This is going to be view.frame.size.width. Let's also copy this for the height. And let's do bar chart dot center equals view dot center. We're going to say view add sub view of bar chart like so. And the most important thing we need to do is actually set up some data for this chart. Otherwise the chart's just going to say no data. And to do that, we're going to leverage the data property. So we're going to say bar chart dot data which is of type chart data equals data and data will be bar chart data like so. And I believe we can instantiate this with some entries, uh, rather data set. So we're going to create it with a data set called set. And up here, we'll do let set equals bar chart data set. And this has entries like so, which is an array of, in this case, 
bar chart data entry, which takes a X and a Y, I believe. So you'll see what these X and Y values map out to in just a second. But let's just do one, one, and let me just copy and paste this a few times. Let's say command B to make sure it's compiling. And I actually thought of a simpler way to actually do this. So instead of copy and pasting this a bunch of times, let's just do this. Let's create a, a for loop to create this array. So let's call this entries. And we'll say var entries is an array of var char data entries, like so. And we're gonna say for x in zero up until 10, we're gonna say entries dot append a bar chart entry like so. The X is going to be the X as well as the Y like so. And let's see, what do we have? We have an error somewhere it looks like and it's because this value is a int and we want it to be a double. So let's wrap that into the double like so. Hit Command B, your app should be building now. And the absolute last thing before running this uh, to see the bar chart is we want to apply a style. So we're going to say set dot colors. And there's a template that this framework gives us with a bunch of different templates. We're going to go with joyful. I think that gives us a colorful bar chart if I remember correctly. Let's hit Command R and see what we get. So cool, we have this nifty looking bar chart now. Um, and of course we can kind of select between the bars and nothing happens because we haven't implemented the delegate function. But just to go over that before we hop into the other bars or other charts, we basically created this bar chart view. We set up its data via a data set and entries. And we're creating the entries in this for loop just so we don't have to copy and paste a bunch of stuff. And this bar chart is going up nicely because our values just increment from zero up until uh, nine. Uh, which is what you see here. Now we can also configure labels to be at the bottom of this x-axis or the left um, on this y-axis. But for the purposes of this demo, let's just focus on the charts. Um, cool. So let's go and do our line chart next. So I'm actually going to copy all of this code uh, because it'll be very similar. So the second view controller will be the line chart. So let's do var line chart equals line chart view. And before we can use that, let's import charts. Like so. And we need to say line chart dot delegate is self. Let's override view did layout subviews here as well. And let's paste in all that jazz we copied and we'll edit it in just a sec. Let's make sure to bring in the chart view. Man, I really can't type today. The chart view delegate. And let's update the variable names because this is no longer a bar chart. It's a line chart. So that one there. That one there, let's do that one. This will just be um, a chart data entry. And we can make this a chart data entry, which is a generic type. And we want this to be a line chart data set. We'll keep this as joyful. Actually, let's change this to material, just so you guys can see the different types that are offered. And this is going to be a line chart data with the line, line chart data set. And lastly, this should be a line chart. So as you can see, a lot of the uh, code that backs the bar chart is similar to the line chart. Uh, at the end of the day, they're just two different ways to visualize data. So it makes sense that, that the code is similar. So we had our bar chart. And if we go to this second tab, we have our line chart. So, um, and again, the line is just going straight up linearly because our for loop is just incrementing a number. Uh, if you were to 
uh, give it different values it'll go up and down as expected so moving forward let's do the pie chart which will be the last chart we're gonna do so let's paste that function i just copied and let's import charts let's create a chart which is a pie chart which is a pie chart view and we're going to set it to delegate and this will be again chart view delegate let's update the variable names one more time because we're no longer using a line chart and actually, because this chart uh, data entry and the data sets are all generic to all these charts, um, in other words, the bar chart data entry is a subclass of this, we don't need to change any of these types because the pie chart is capable of uh, rendering it. But we do need to change this value. And let's change this to be, I think there's a colorful in here. So let's see what colorful looks like. Hit Command R to build and run. So we got our bar chart, our line chart, and let's see, it looks like we crashed with our pie chart. And let's see why we crashed. We crashed because it's trying to create pie chart data. And I think we had line chart data. So let's go back to our controller and see what I messed up. I think I just forgot to update the line chart data. So here we have, yes, line chart data set. Let's make this a pie chart data set and a pie chart data. So uh, like I mentioned, you don't need to update these types, which are generic to different charts and graphs, but you do need to update the data in the data set type. Let's try that one more time. And boom, we get our awesome pie chart. And what's really cool about this framework is these graphs are interactive so we can spin this which I don't know why but is kind of fun um, this isn't very colorful it's kind of ugly actually so let's change the uh, template to something else we tried joyful let's try let's try pastel that sounds cool let's see what that looks like it's a little nicer I guess but anyways there you have it that's how you create graphs with this framework in Swift is not a lot of code at all. Uh, it's very similar to the delegate data source pattern that a table view might use. These are interactive graphs and they're pretty nice looking. You can set up x axes, y axes, a legend, and you can really customize the heck out of these graphs. Um, I'll also mention that this framework supports eight types of graphs. I just showed three here. But take a look at the GitHub page for Charts Swift Framework, and you'll see all the different ones that are supported there. So with that said, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like down below. It helps out the video and channel a lot. Subscribe if you're new. Don't hesitate to leave a comment if you're having any issues. Always happy to help, and I'll catch you in the next video.